my advice often is to go ahead, be open to change, look for innovation, look for intellectual property that you can patent, and try to move ahead. While doing that, you have to be very flexible. Your original ideas often need some fairly substantial changes, so be ready to make those changes as you're going along. Uh, always be listening for new things happening, and again, try to adapt to those as quickly as you can. When I heard Erwin Jacobs speak, it changed my whole perspective. He talked about how he built his company on patents. He talked about how important patents were, not just to his company, but to innovation and our innovation economy. And I began to think of patents in that way. Erwin and Qualcomm literally revolutionized the information technology industry and mobile telecommunications from a world in which basically one company had a monopoly and everyone else was on the sidelines. Um, and instead, on, because of the world created by Qualcomm through Irwin's leadership, we now have uh, an ecosystem where dozens and dozens and dozens of companies can play and excel and compete um, effectively, all to the huge benefit of consumers all over the world. Well, Qualcomm would never have been able to grow if it had not been innovative and then patented those innovations. Without being able to license and therefore get a royalty on equipment, it would not have been possible. IP was very important to the, to the business that Qualcomm created and it was also used against us. So we had to, through Irwin's leadership, maneuver through all those different roadblocks to create what is you know, really a new industry um, and a new business model. Uh, we started licensing our intellectual property in 1990, and you know, 33 years later, um, we're still doing so. Licensing actually promotes uh, both the value of intellectual property, but additional innovation. Um, and Qualcomm, again, is, is the prime example. He believes so much in IP that he doesn't just go out there and get patents for himself or license his patents. He is uh, an advocate for the IP system. Um, there is no greater IP champion that I've met in my career, and I've spent a lot of time with a lot of major players in technology, who has contributed more to inventing himself, sharing through uh, textbook and articles written, uh, and then showing us both the value of intellectual property rights and the importance of protecting those intellectual property rights. The world is changing very rapidly. It's going to continue to change. And you should be open to that change and be willing to look for innovations that will help you take advantage of those changes. And then if you can have some intellectual property by coming up with some very elegant ways of doing things, that, uh, that will give you an edge in the competition. And so my advice often is to go ahead, be open to change, look for innovation, look for intellectual property that you can patent, and try to move ahead. Congratulations, Erwin. I am very pleased that you are the chosen one for this award. You are an IP champion. Erwin, congratulations on earning this award. It is so well deserved. Congratulations, Erwin. Well deserved. So, Erwin, congratulations on receiving the IP Champion Award, an award uh, deserved by you more than anyone else I can possibly think of. And, Erwin, again, I wish you a very, very happy 90th birthday, which Erwin celebrated in October, and look forward to many years of continuing engagement with you.